I'm home cold, just dead in trial. Why ain't I see you well back when I was That's down. how we got signed, you know, buying work in a drought. You okay. know what I mean? How'd that so, happen? What happened with that? Shit, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So that's how we get on, you know what I mean? So we had the trap house and we buying work from CNH. <laughs> Shout out to CNH. So we buying work from CNH. At he, this he, time, did he have the Shirley Locks? He had the Shirley's, all that okay. shit. He was baby Jesus. Okay. He was baby Jesus. <laughs> So we buying work from CNH, and I'm like, this nigga that be with Too Short, man. I'm like, man, fuck all this dope shit, man. We yeah, rap. Yeah. He's like, what's y'all name? I said, we the Looney Tunes. He's like, man, bust something. And you know, this back when niggas hitting on their chest and yeah. shit, slapping on tables. Yeah. So I get the busting on my chest and shit, say, you know, the ice cream man, right? He's like, okay, nigga, you dope, man. He's like, what's up with your man? I say, he ain't wrote his verse shit, but this is my rap partner, you feel me? <laughs> He's like, okay, y'all niggas come to the Too Short studio tomorrow, man. We got, I got an artist named Drew Down. I'm working on his shit, man. Y'all come through, man, and see if y'all fuck with it. You was y'all up on Drew Down at that time? Hell no, okay. this is Drew brand new. Nobody okay. ever heard of no fucking Drew Down. All right. So next day we get to the studio, and this is the first time we meet Too Short, because mm -hmm. we had Too Short studio. Mm -hmm. He got his group, his little youngsters already called Bad Influence. So this is the doing the dangerous music. This is dangerous okay. music yeah, era. Yeah. yeah. So he got his own little rap group about our age called Bad Influence. Yeah. Which ends up being Rap and Run and Aunt Dilly Dog. Yeah. Rest in peace to Rap and Run. Yeah. So he was like, okay, you got your youngsters. I got my youngsters, man. Let's have a rap battle. Whoever win got about a whole studio pieces. Yeah. So it was like, okay, nigga, I got bad influence. Let's go, nigga. <laughs> he just threw me out there like, I, I, I ain't agree to this shit. So Numb ain't got no fucking raps. Yeah. So, so hold on. So, gotta, so real quick, yeah. this is before freestyle. This is written shit, right? This is written. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. bad influence got a nigga that freestyle <laughs> like fucking Mr. Fab for hours. Okay. It's called Rap and Run. Okay. I didn't know. Rap around with the junior high school with us. He was there with the brothers with potential days. He yeah. couldn't freestyle. That nigga could rap, but he wasn't no dope nigga like yeah. them. And then was rapping circles around this nigga. Yeah. Like he wasn't that nigga. I wasn't that nigga back then neither. <laughs> so I know how I done improved it yeah. in, in camp. Like I'm, boy, I'ma eat this nigga up yeah. if he that nigga from junior <laughs> high school. And I know he like, if he that nigga from junior high school, I got yeah, this nigga. Yeah. I ain't no Aunt Dilly Dog. And it was another nigga named Eclipse, which ended up being my cousin through marriage. Rest mm -hmm. in peace, Eclipse, which ended up being the group Sido that was signed to Gov. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Him and mm -hmm. T. Looney. So it's him rapping Ron and Eclipse. <clears throat> I got to rap against all three of these niggas by myself. None of them ain't got one fucking lyric written. <laughs> So Drew ain't got a rap. Drew down already signed. Yeah. So Drew down is like, baby, baby. Like, bubba, bubba. A baby, bubba, yeah, bubba, bubba. bubba. He got a little baby shirt yeah, too. Yeah. He like, bubba, bubba. <laughs> do what you do, bubba, bubba. So yeah, so I get up there and I'm rapping. I slay Dilly. I slay Clips. And it's just me and rapper Ron going back to back. I don't say the ice cream man because I know if I say this rap, somebody going to take it. Yeah. All these, you got everybody that signed the damn near dangerous music right there in the room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, somebody gonna steal this shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that. I said everything but that. Mm -hmm. Rap and Ron being a freestyle motherfucker, knowing that it's about pieces. This yeah. nigga's like, okay, CNAs, go roll some reefer. Matter of fact, you lost, nigga. Go buy the motherfucking pieces. Everybody, <laughs> ah! <laughs> it was over. I couldn't say nothing yeah. else because he said what the fucking bet was about. Yeah. Yeah, so it was over after that. I just bowed down gracefully. Like, you got me. I still didn't say ice cream, man. Like, I could have killed it with ice cream, man. Yeah. But I'm like, nah, I ain't going to give it to him. Somebody going to steal this shit. Because mm -hmm. prior to that, uh, Seagram, rest in peace, uh, yep. that was Seagram. signed to rap a lot. Yep. He from my neighborhood. Prior to that, just me getting out of jail. Mm -hmm. Seagram heard it. Another nigga saying Ice Cream Man just rapping it because mm -hmm. everybody knew it. So um, he called my house trying to buy the song mm -hmm. for a thousand dollars. Yeah. And some said, Nah, nigga, hold on to this. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And then after that, I meet, you know, do the CNH deal mm -hmm. and turn the uh, the dope deal to a record deal. So if I would have sold that song. I yeah. wouldn't have been able to do. Some right. said, hold on to that fucking song. Right. So knowing that Seagram tried to buy it. Mm -hmm. You and felt like that, it was value there. Yeah. yeah. And I'm yeah. like, if I say this in front of these <clears throat> niggas, they going to take it because another rapper that was already signed to mm -hmm. rap a lot try to buy it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, nah, I ain't saying this so shit. So who was the other nigga that was saying the ice cream man that he that Seagram said he heard? Oh, it was a nigga from our hood. Okay. It was a nigga. Okay. He was like, nigga, JJ. That's okay. when they called me JJ. They're like, uh -huh. the nigga, JJ. Nigga, woo, woo. We got a song called Ice Cream Man. Nigga, mm -hmm. check it out. And he started saying a, a bit of the rhymes. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, that's slick. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Nigga game. That's when you had to have a nigga beeper number or your house number. The nigga called yeah. the house. Yeah. My grandma house. Like, 
Yeah, nigga, what's up, JJ? Yeah, you got that ice cream. I thought he wanted to sign a nigga, you yeah. know? I'm like, okay, cool, you about to sign a nigga? Like, nah, I want to buy the song. I'm like, oh, my nigga. <laughs> so I'm the like, deal that you did with CNH, did he already have distribution and shit in line? Um, CNH was doing the shit out the trunk, okay. you know what I mean? Okay. From the beginning, you know what I mean, with the Drew Now first album, but we had a manager named Macraw, AJ Pavel, that was lining us up. He'd walk us in all the shit. So yeah. after Drew Down first <clears throat> independent album, um, we all got signed. Okay. Drew Down got signed to Relativity. We right. got signed to Version Records. Mm -hmm. We got Mac Mall signed to Relativity. Yep. So my manager was inking up a lot of deals. He mm -hmm. got Richie Rich signed to uh, Def Jam. Def Jam. Yep. So our manager, AJ Pavel, lined up all those deals because mm -hmm. he had relationships with all those record labels. So, But we start off independent mm -hmm. off the rip.